Hello everybody, uh, a new week, a new visual, and today we have something special. This is Amir here with my buddy May, and we are going to talk about the Mary Meko chart, or for short, the Meko chart. So the Meko chart originated originally from Finland, uh, from a fashion designer company, and their bold design and the bold cut colors gave the name to that chart. So let's understand the chart a little bit. What you see here is a set of information about some uh, car sales, different types of cars and, and their categories and the quantities. And this is just a table. And of course we can go and view it in different ways. So one thing I can do is I can go and take a, the same table, take a look at it as a stacked bar chart. And when I look at the stock bar chart, I can see all sorts of things. I can see distribution. I can see, for example, that in domestic trucks, the Ford is dominating versus perhaps in imported cars. I can see here that Hyundai is dominating. Okay, so, so I can see within a category, I can see what is the uh, best distribution. What I cannot see, for example, here is whether domestic cars are more than uh, domestic trucks and more than imported cars. So that it's hard to see the, the actual absolute quantities. I can go in other ways. I can go, for example, and take a look at it as a tree map. And now I can see the domestic trucks are having the largest quantities overall and then domestic cars, but it's very hard to compare the relative sizes of those. And this is where the Meko chart come into play. The, the Meko chart is trying to combine both. It's trying to show you a stacked bar chart that is also giving you a sense of what is the relative sizes of, that, of, that, of the bars. Uh, in an absolute basis. And the way they do that, they actually introduce uh, the width of the bar as a way to gauge it. So you can see here that if I look at the at each one of those uh, width of the chart, I can see here that uh, if I had this width, it, was, it would have been pretty obvious that domestic trucks are larger than the domestic cars, where it's impossible to know just by the bar chart. So how do we combine the stacked bar chart with variable widths? This is where the Mary Meko chart of the Meko chart come into play. So let's take this tree view here and I'm just going to go and convert it into this Mary Meko chart. And I'm going to go and click and convert it. And here it is. You can see now it's kind of a tree view and it's kind of a stacked bar chart. It's a combination of both. So now I can see again, the relative size. It's very obvious here that in this case, domestic track is GM is dominant. Uh, and then Ford, uh, where it is a very different story when imported cars where Hyundai and uh, Kia are dominating. So very easy to see here. Uh, what we've done here, it's bar chart with variable widths, or it is a tree view with a, a column orientation. Either way, this is the Mary Meko chart. Now you can go and do all sorts of other interesting things with it, because right now we have just used one measure. So let's take a look and understand how we set up a macro chart like this. What you can see here, we have the type, which is the category, which actually determines the columns of the macro chart. We see the series, which determines the breakdown of the columns. And then you can see that we actually have two measures. We have the y-axis and the axis width. The axis width determines the width of the bar. The y-axis determines how we break down the height. And you can see here that we have quantity, is, is we're using quantity for both. But what if, what if we can change it? So we're going to take a look at another table here. And uh, in this case, we have two measures. We have this year's sales and total units this year. When I convert this one to the macro chart, you can see that now we have something a bit more interesting. You can see here the width is determined by the total unit this year, but the height, the breakdown of the height is determined by this year's sales here on the y-axis. So it's actually more versatile than a typical column chart or the typical uh, tree map. A very powerful chart, very popular uh, with, with the financial analysts, uh, with the industry, play, play with it. It's just uh, a very, very, very bright, colorful, but very insightful chart. So that's it for this week, the Meko chart. Thank you. Amir and Main signing off here.